Poundland, you say? Since when do I do Poundland reviews? Well, every now and then I have. And of course, it really helps if I put my hand into frame here so you can see that there's something going on, something that be animated for for you to actually follow before I actually get something on to review. This is from Poundland, yes. Yes, indeed, this is, what, Budkins? Hmm, let's just zoom in on this a bit, see if I can ever actually find the lens because of the way I've got my camera set up at this point. It's a bit difficult to get my hand on the lens sometimes. Yeah, Budkins, it looks like a cowboy with a whip. And I'm actually kind of thinking it's more like a cowgirl. Yeah, it's a cowgirl. Budkins, what the hell is this? Well, according to the girl from the shop when I was at the till paying for everything, scissors. Let's find the, uh, let's find the bit that she's secured with. It means I'm inadvertently running a sharp object over a toy woman's breasts and not getting much success here or doing anything. Because I saw a little purchase. There we go. She's now free. Burn your bras, lady. You are free from tyranny. Oh, there's a good bit of mobility there. That does not feel like it's going to break at any point in time either. That is actually quite good. Uh, the woman at the till was actually quite excited about these th things. Well, there's a logo of some sort here. Let's just see, it is... Le Toy Van again. The sun, looking over a van, and the autofocus refusing to incorporate as always. Oh, for God, right out loud. Let's block out some of the background for some reason that t tends to work. Focal distance, yeah, there we go. La toy van. So, does she stand up at all? Kind of, sort of, maybe, no, not at all. Uh, maybe it's the skirt getting in the way. She doesn't want to stand up at all. She's drunk. No, oh, oh, she's managing it, she's managing it, she's on one foot. The other foot is just sort of hovering off the ground a bit. Let's try to get them both down like that. No. Oh, well, there is some ability here. I mean, we're going to have to lift her skirt up to see the full range so you can see exactly what we've got here. It's basically some sort of cord into... Oh, they're all knickers. They're all some knickers or panties or whatever you want to call them. But it's basically the legs are on cord, so that... It's very strong stuff, whatever it is. I'm assuming it's the same sort of... Yeah, it looks like the same sort of stuff around here as well, so... She's quite a solid, solidly built young lady. Uh, with this whip, which is presumably meant for a horse, which they didn't actually have any of, but if you do roll the sleeves up, like what I've just done, it's actually quite difficult to get them to roll back into their proper place. But she has got a good degree of mo motion, a natural motion, not a, an inhumane 180, 360 degree kind of motion that would just kill a normal person if it was real. And then there's also others in the selection, such as not Bob the Builder, or Mechanic, or whatever. Mike the Mechanic, not Mike the Mechanic. Budkins, Le Toy Van, yeah. All the usual same guffins that you got before. This time he's got this. There were actually some of them that did not have the hat, which presume, presumably means that these are supposed to be removable, but uh, no, that's actually on quite securely. So either somebody's been messing around in the shop at some point and removing them, or they've gotten lost in uh, lost at some point in transit or let's just find some safe way to get this guy off and free and whatnot or some of them were just designed to not have anything like that I'm trying to get this guy out but it's proven to be very difficult there we go you're free pal will you stand up yes you're you're able to stand up a lot better then a drunken cowgirl will. Right, where did your spanner go? Oh yeah, look, look at how they've done that. They've tied it in place. Oh, come on, autofocus. Good God. I may have to do something about looking at resetting the lens. They're all supposed to be some things. This is the standard kit lens for uh, Canon cameras. And there is supposed to be some problems with them that you can resolve with certain methods of resetting. So let's just see how well do these hands do when it comes to holding them in place. That's actually quite good. Now he's got, it's because of the way that clothing is actually made, he's got a sort of hunch in his shoulders sort of thing, but you can, ooh, yeah. 
That's uh, looking pretty good. I actually quite like the design of the faces. They're quite a friendly thing, so you could give these to kids. His head feels a little not as secure as the cowgirl. Um, but he's got the same sort of strength and whatnot in his legs and so on and so forth. It's just the way the clothing is, it sort of gives him a sort of semi hunched over look. And you've got to be careful with how you position them because otherwise they just will not uh, stay in position when standing upright. Oh well, I'll just put these two on the side. Now, some people might potentially get uh, a little offended at what I'm about to produce next because they've also got the Native American complete with a tomahawk which looks to be metal rather than flint or anything that a Native American may have actually used or American Indian or whatever the terms is it First Nation? Is that what they prefer to call themselves? And if that's what they prefer to call themselves, shouldn't we be calling them that? Whatever the proper name is, please put it down in the comments so I know. And then from that point on, I'll try to actually uh, refer to it as that. Or otherwise, I might actually research it myself after I've done the editing on this video and actually put the proper name down around about here, as I sometimes want to do. So let's see if we can get... I mean, it's... Is he supposed to be a chief? Because, you know, the headdress is supposed to have... As far as Hollywood movies are concerned, the headdress is supposed to indicate uh, rank and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to even bother trying to get this guy out at all. Um, it's just not worth it. We're already seven minutes in, and you know that the tomahawk is going to fit the hand. It's going to... Uh, to work because the hands all work. They're all interchangeable as well. I mean, you could. There's no reason for you to not to give the tomahawk to somebody else. That's probably why it looks more like a conventional axe rather than a tomahawk, so that it can be used with anybody. The face looks good. It's got some more paint on. Not that much. Not too too much to uh, overdo it. The construction obviously feels as good as everything else. It's a rather standard costume. Whether the actual Native American outfits look anything like this, I don't know. But hey ho, it looks good. But in these politically correct times, it's possibly going to annoy some people. Just put you to one side there, so everybody can look at your feet. Now, that was not all that I bought when I was at uh, Poundland. There was also, I think I'll need to zoom out a bit to get the, uh, the full horror of this. Masks! Yes, this is indeed a cat mask. Uh, let's just see if it tells us what it thinks it is. It's a dress-up mask. There's dinosaurs for some reason on this here. No, 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 hang on, no, that's not dinosaurs, that's giraffes. With birds flying in the background. Why did I think dinosaurs? Because I was looking through the lens display rather than anything else. Does it give us any more information? Well, it's not supposed to be for anybody under three. And it's supposed to be kept away from fire and extreme sources of heat. Just as well, I've got the lights uh, facing up on the ceiling and I'm bouncing the light up off the wall more than anything else. Because yes, these lights do get warm after a time. Uh, yeah, it's a cat mask. Some kind of snow leopard, I think, maybe? Uh, one thing's for sure, it would look far, far better than anything in that cat's travesty. I mean, trailer, trailer, cat's trailer that everybody seems to really, really hate of at the moment. And speaking of cats, there's also the Lion King. This might be some sort of uh, very cheap uh, cash-in on the recent live-action uh, CGI movie by Disney remaking their own properties via John Favreau again doing CGI live-action. How can it be live-action when there's nobody real in it and it's all CGI that is made to look real? I don't quite get that, but yeah, this is not going to fool anybody at all, except maybe the cat trailer here is, but uh, mm, yeah. It's by exactly the same people, it cost one pound, they all cost one pound, everything so far has cost one pound, you can see with the yellow lining everywhere. The paint job feels really rough, I've got to be honest here, I mean, compare the two of them, this by four is the better one, it looks better. Yes, it's got a similar rough feel to, to, uh, to this, but at the end of the day this looks better overall, it's got more detail on it, whereas this just feels like somebody just couldn't be bothered to really do it too much. I like the eyebrows. You know, they look like they've had some effort put in. It's just let down by the lack of effort of everything else. I mean, if you wanted all these lion main sections to really stand out, you should have put some more highlights in of a different colour, but it's all just one solid colour, which is all 
perhaps just a little bit on the poo side. Yes, somebody came up with this as a present. It's not Mr. Hanky from South Park, it's just something that sort of infringes on his territory bit. It's just one of these little stressful things, but I can't for the life of me think of why anybody would want to get something like this outside of the purposes of putting it on a YouTube video to show the world the sheer horror of this present or item or whatever you want to call it. One thing that would have perhaps made it a little m bit more unique uh, is if I gave those sort of googly eyes type of things, you know, those eye eyeballs that just sort of go all over the place and yeah, that isn't it. It basically feels like it's full of some sort of little sand uh, bag type thing. Feels relatively rough and whatnot. I don't think it's going to break at any point in time. Um, yeah, you could in theory just take those off or just turn it around like this and just leave it somewhere in the house and just wait for somebody to have a really nasty surprise. Uh, and scream and come and yell at you at something for being a little bit of a monster. But hey ho, what the hell? What could I possibly have left over to deal with here? Well, you might be surprised as we reach ooh, the 12 minute mark. Don't worry, not much longer to go. We have this. Yes, it's one of those little glove puppet things. So you too can pretend that you're sooty or sweep or some bizarre hybrid because this seems to be something that vaguely channels sooty. Uh, but also sweep at the same time. Now for those outside of the UK, Sooty and Sweep are basically hand puppets and so the 60s, maybe earlier, maybe the 50s. And Sooty is a little magical yellow glove puppet bear with black ears and he's silent, he's mute. Well, he's not mute, he's actually just incredibly quiet. The only way he can communicate is by talking to uh, the the person that's actually in control of him by going up to his ear and whispering like this and stuff like that. You rarely actually see the uh, the wrist or forearm of the person operating them because they're usually good enough to actually keep them in like this. So obviously you're operating, you know, the, with your finger and thumb and the most of your other fingers are operating the head and so on and so forth. Yeah, so he's a bit of an institution. He's also magical and that he has a magic wand, and with the magic words, is he busy, let's get busy, which of course he gets you, the audience, to say. He can perform feats of minor magic, such as tidying up all the mess that he, he and his characters and cohorts have actually made that day. So yeah, there we go. We have the sooty, not quite rip-off kind of glove. And for the more discerning view, we have other characters, such as Mr. Flibble, who is very angry. Yeah, there were more of everything here. Like I said, there was a football player or a soccer player for you American. There were other cat masks. There wasn't any more shit. Well, there was other shit. Uh, there was other characters like this, but I really couldn't be bothered to go and get any more. And I'm actually getting a countdown telling me that the video is going to come to an end. So Mr. Flibble is rather annoyed at that because there were more of these, but we had more to say, but not enough time. Three, two, one. Oh, the countdown seems to have stopped, but we're still here.